world champion, one of my favorite people in the world. So I really like uh, their chances. And, and it's up to Alexander to really set the tone in this first leg. Really quickly, Melissa. Yep, I'm also going to go with Real Sociedad on this one. Uh, the next factor is Marius Randall. We don't know his, his style of play or his performance yet, but um, I'm likewise. I'm going with, with Ali Long and Alexander. All right, Melissa, jump into the commentary booth alongside Mark Brown. Well, here we are. Things have already kicked off here. We're in the Reali Arena early doors. And that is already Real Sociedad on the front foot, attacking the goal from the left to the right in the blue and white stripes. Valencia in that change strip of black with orange shorts. And already you can see it's going to be a tight middle of the park here. Play move down that left-hand side. And Real Sociedad dispossessed there on the far side. And already Valencia springing forward. Moving down that right-hand side. Dispossessed once again, though. Mark, it looks like it's just a possession game right now at the moment. They're trying to get some feelers here and there. Uh, of course, just in the first five or ten minutes of the match. Yeah. Yeah. Eight minutes gone here, Melissa, and it really is. These two sides just feeling each other out. A bit of a midfield battle developing here. Real Sociedad, though, knocking it around. It was Isaac touching it. Isaac through the middle, goes on to that left foot. And that is good defence there. But Valencia have given it away again. The ball put into the middle. And Jauma takes, rolls it out from the back. We saw Gaia yesterday... Just trying to steady the ship. A lot of that Valencia play coming through. Parejo here is again the Valencia captain. That looks to be the way Gaia is going to set this out again, Melissa. Absolutely. I mean, the way that Gaia is, is, is playing, it's a bit more defensive right now. We haven't really seen him on the, his attacking side of the field at the moment. Uh, but for Alexander Isaac, uh, we are seeing him giving more, a little bit more pressure towards the attacking third. But we haven't seen anything opportunistic to this point. Yeah, we're seeing a good press here from Real Sociedad as well. Alexander Isaac just establishing a high midfield line there, just pushing Valencia, trying to push them back. But Gaillas broke through here with his Valencia team. There's the ball down the channel. Space to run into. Great covering from that back line. And here come Real Sociedad again. Again, it's given away cheaply, though. Good one-two football on the edge of the area. Great turn two onto the left foot. Early ball put across the middle. Ramiro takes. Ball rolled out from the keeper. Out on the far side. Work through the middle here from Real Sociedad. But again, there's no way through. They can't keep the ball for more than two or three passes here. And Valencia pressing ever so well, winning the ball back. Again, patient Mark, I play think that through the middle. Both teams need to spread the field a bit. You know, you see a little bit too much in the inside, in the middle of the pitch. Um, as far as, as Isaac's play, um, you see him in pressuring, but I do expect something from the outside mids. You know, run it down the flank a bit, get some crosses in. Yeah, it's all coming a bit too much through the middle here. But here's Parejo. He's always got ideas. The layoff for Soleil goes for goal. And that is charged down again. Suddenly, it's Real Sociedad coming forward. Isaac with Isaac. Looks like William Jose is on that far side. No way through for him, though. Defense is on top at the moment in the Real Arena. Half, away, uh, half of the halfway point of the period in this first half. Nil-nil. Here it is. In this first leg of the second semi-final, who will go forward to play uh, Villarreal here in the kick covered 19 FIFA 20 tournaments? Valencia on the ball once again. Blazing sunshine in the Basque country. And the ball stretching just to field out once again. That final third, though, is the problem for both sides at the moment. Let's see what the Basque can do. Great ball in fields, worked across to Isaac, the 1-2. Isaac again, twisting and turning. 
And again, it's interesting, Melissa, these two defences are reading the through balls. Absolutely, they are. You know, it's it's funny to see this, how real life is coming into the FIFA game virtually. Now, it's also good to point out that both teams have been feeling each other defense, defensively, but now we're seeing a bit more of an offensive side, an attack, attacking scheme. And this is what we like to see. Although it's taken about 30 to 40 minutes into the match, we're happy to see this. Well, here's his arc, oh, my and there word. it is. Here's the opener. Just as you were saying it, Melissa, it was a great move. It was a counter-attack, really. Isaac's broken through. Isaac absolutely delighted. Look at him punch in the air. And Real Sociedad take control in the Real Arena. Absolutely. That was a great finish. Um, right there, a counter-attack, like you said. It took about 40, 38 to 40 minutes into the match uh, to see a goal. But once he was able to break through, Mark, I am seeing this as a complete confidence riser i think this has just opened the match for sure i don't know about you yeah we'll see just coming up to half time as well important goal and guy has got to come out maybe change his tactics he was talking about being pragmatic but he needs really to set his partner up to marius randall here with something to play for in this second leg we know how good Long in. What can Gaia do? He's coming up to half time. Time's running out. He's gone for a long shot and it's just Ooh. wide. Yeah, just whizzes past the post from Gamero. It was a close one. That was a close one. As we see, I mean, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. I, I said this would be a huge confidence booster for, for Alexander, but Jose is pressing. He's he's really pressing offensively, um, giving that, those combination passes as well, the supporting runs. Uh, we're going to see a little bit more from him. I think second half is going to be quite the game changer. Yeah, that goal it hasn't really changed his demeanor, has it? He's sitting there cool as you like in that chair. He's really in the zone, just like he was last night. Flags are out. Isaac is the man that separates these two sides at the moment. Let's see if there's any changes in the second half. But Gaia has to come out and he needs really to set his partner up with at least something to aim at. And here we go. Second half underway. It's Valencia kicking us off. Goal down. And immediately it's Was on the ball. Gaia just... Threading the ball through, back to Was. Played along the back four. We saw this yesterday as well in the quarters. This steady play out from the back on Dogbia. Parejo finds his pass, doesn't find the target. And the Basques are back in action with this man, Isaac. He looks like he could be the man of the match. And Ooh. again, just wide. And that was a chance to really put some breathing space between the two sides. And... You said it there, Melissa, was, ooh. <laughs> You're hearing my game expressions as, as a fan watching this FIFA game. <laughs> Imagine watching me play FIFA. <laughs> but I'm excited to see. I mean, Isak is showing some great quality, um, obviously, in the final third. And in his last finishing, if he can only just get that last part in and, and, and get a goal, that's all that's necessary. He's doing all the right things possible previously to that. Yeah, the build-up play is absolutely magnificent. Jalma, though, was once again called into action. Two saves in a minute there from the Valencia keeper. Valencia with a man over on the left-hand side. Space to work into. And the ball played back in. The edge of the area. Chance for a long shot. Again, just off target. Oh, was that a save from Mermiro? It was indeed. It's a corner. Great save. Isaac applauds. He's keeper keeping Real Sociedad a goal to the good here. 55 minutes gone. And this side looking so good on the counter offense here. And the threaded ball through as well again. Valencia and Gaia just getting wise to that one. Maybe Isaac should look for another tactic here, Melissa. Perhaps play it out wide more. Absolutely, played out wide more. I imagine, you know, within the next 10 minutes or so, possibly to make a, an attacking more formation change. Um, also, there are options inside the game that you can uh, change the way that you play. So, say, a fast buildup or uh, more attacking instead of balanced 
if I was playing, um, I would definitely do, and, I, and I'd love to see something like that from from Gaia right now, especially since he's down. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. that's a goal. There you go. There you go. He's answered your call there. He's answered your call. It's Gamido, the French international, the World Cup winner, bursts the back of the net, and Isaac... Well, he's looking like he's been put under a bit of pressure here. Gaia, we can't see any reaction from him, but he must be delighted. Gaia is, is as cool as a cat right now, staying chill, nonchalant with the swag, not really celebrating. I think his confidence is up. Um, you know, I, I, he's probably like, Melly, what are you saying? Um, I got this. As I was saying, he should have more of an attack and build up. But this is definitely quite the matchup as we see already. And a 1-1, this is definitely setting the tone, even thinking about the leg. Absolutely. Well, two of the top young talents in, the Le in La Liga Santander doing us justice here. Not much between them in terms of natural talent. Not much between them in FIFA either. Gaia seems to be boosted by that goal. He wants a second one. Flying save rip. from Ramiro. Yeah, great save there. It was from the captain, Parejo. Corner taken short. It's punched out by Ramiro. Now, so did I clear the danger again? Well, this looks interesting. The early ball put into the middle. It's a perfectly weighted ball. And how about that for a save? Oh, what a save. That is something from Isaac that has to be finished, that has to be put in the back of the net. And you saw, you saw his speed with ball crossed in low on the ground. But unfortunately, he was not able to put that one away. That's something that is most necessary, especially as we get to the latter end of the second half. Yeah, one all, not long to go. We're only really in the last quarter of an hour coming up. Perhaps time's, time for a, a change of sub here, Melissa? Yeah, I, I'd hope so, from both ends, actually. Kondogbia trying to thread it through the eye of the needle. No space there for the Frenchman. Here's Isaac. What can he do? Doubles back on himself, but then... Just runs into a spot of bother. You can just feel that anticipation in the crowd. Look at that. They can sense Ooh, something's coming. Oh. And how many times have we seen that? The woodwork wow. to the rescue, but the rebound's put in, and it's 2-1. There it is. How many posts have we seen so far in this tournament? But this post at least was in his favor, and he was able to get the rebound, of course. 2-1 up, Real Sociedad. Mark, what are we thinking now? Last about 12 minutes of this match. Yeah, it's tight, isn't it? And what's going to be Gaia's tactics here? 2-1 down, or is Isaac going to come out flying and look for a third here? Really set up Ali for this barnstorming finish. What's he got in mind? We saw him go all-out all attack yesterday as he took the game 3-1 against Morientes, coming back from behind. Last 10 minutes, Gaia looking to get himself back in the game. He wants to give Damarius something to play for. Odegaard turns inside, lovely square pass. This is classy stuff from the Basques. Still on play. Kondopia showing his strength. Pass only finds the Norwegian. And how about that for a turn? In the end, it comes to nothing, though. Time ticking down. Nail-biting stuff. Second semi-final. First leg. Real Sociedad 2-1 up against Valencia. Looking like a home win if nothing changes here. Odegaard. Just looking to slow things down. Valencia have still got time. Just try and carve out that one clear-cut chance. Can Gaia do it here? Short ball inside. Good turn. There's the plan. It's the ball into the channel. And Alexander Isaac had read that to perfection. And we're in stoppage time. Final seconds. And if nothing changes here, 
And Demarius Randall's got some work to do. There is the final whistle. It's Real Sociedad 2, Valencia 1 in this semi-final first leg. A round of applause from the home fans. Isaac punches the air and he takes the win. Gives himself a little round of applause.